Yeah, because it's crazy. You still got to look at people, you know, because I travel a lot still, and I got to look at people when I get on the plane, and they still got the uh, random search, you know, and you got to make sure you wash your clothes. You know, you can't just show up at the airport without washing your clothes because they might uh, randomly select you that day, and you be trying to tell the people, you be like, hey, uh, this ain't a good day to do me, you know, because I'm... Yeah, because I ain't, I ain't washing clothes like that. I don't really want... Y'all gonna open that? I don't want you to open it. Don't open it. Yeah. Yeah, y'all ain't got no laser shit. Y'all can run through it because I don't really need you to open it. You know, but they'll open your shit and just hold your drawers up. And you be like, them ain't my good drawers. I got some good drawers in the side pocket. Don't, don't pull them out right there. But, uh, yeah, because that bothered me. And I still uh, be watching people when I get on the plane, but I feel like if I get on the plane, you know, people always request a seat, you know, and I always feel like I should get the aisle seat, you know, because if I get the aisle seat, I feel like I run the rope, you know. I'd be like, this is my rope. You can't just roll up in my rope. Because I run the rope, you know. I ain't got to depend on nobody if I'm on the aisle seat, you know, because you're in the middle of the window, you got to depend on people, but you're on the aisle, you be like, I see every motherfucking thing that happens on the plane, and I seen a little dude, and I don't like stereotype people, but I was like, damn, he favored been lighting them. You know, I don't know if he been lighting them. <laughs> but he damn sure favored, because he had a little thing. And I was like, uh, that ain't no Kango right there. That ain't no Kango. <laughs> so I had to look at it, you know, and I was like, I hope he ain't sitting on my row, you know. So I knew I had to watch him if he was sitting on my row, and he came down a little aisle, and he was like, I think I am the window seat, you know, and I was like, uh, let me check the stub, let me check the stub. <laughs> Yeah, cause I can't just let you in the road. You ain't got the right paperwork. <laughs> so I was like, okay, he was the window seat, and I was cool for a while, but it was a long ass flight, you know, and he wouldn't be still, you know, we just kept moving. Like, num, 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 num. And I was like, hey, dog, you gotta uh, be still on the road now. We don't, we don't move like that on the road, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with you, just keep moving. He was like, I need to use the restroom. And I was like, uh, we don't pee on my road. This ain't that kind of road. Yeah, I like, this a strong bladder roll. We, we hold our pee till we get back on the ground. We don't pee up top, we pee on the ground. And he's like, I need to pee. And I'm like, hey, motherfucker, don't start no shit now. <laughs> yeah, cause you know, cause black folk, we feel like we whoop anybody ass. That's how we feel. We, you know, we feel like we have had the proper training to whoop anybody ass. We don't really care who it is, but I, I'm here to say, I don't know uh, what kind of training it take to whoop my ass at 30,000 feet. You know, I ain't never whooped nobody ass that high up, you know, cause you gotta have a, I can whoop your ass on the ground, but I don't really know what I can do uh, at 30,000 feet. So I don't know if they'd whoop my ass or not at 30,000. But the real little terrors on planes to me is babies. You know, that's who I have a problem with is little babies. Cause I don't like, I don't like babies. I don't really, I ain't a big fan of babies. And, you know, I had a little traumatic experience with a little white baby and the mama. Cause I ain't never played with little white babies. I don't really know how they play. And <laughs> yeah, and the little white baby just kept touching my face. She like, hey, hey. And I was like, hey, little white baby, don't put your hand in my face now. Don't. Yeah, I, don't, I don't play like that. Don't put your hand in my face. And she just kept rubbing me. I'm like, quit, little white baby, quit. <laughs> and the mama was trying to stop her, but I was like, okay, I'll play with her. You know, maybe she won't play. You know, and I was like, hey, patty cake, patty cake, baker man, baker man. You know, and, and she was like, nigga, nigga, nigga. And I was like, I was like, I don't think that's in the song, baby. I don't think that's in the song. That's, that's the remix or something right there. I don't know. I don't know that part. And, and the mama was looking at me like, she was like, I'm so sorry, you know? And I was like, no, uh, somebody get their ass whooped for that. I can't just let that, yeah, I can't just let that slide. That hurt me, that hurt me. Yeah, so you and your baby talk it over and let me know who asked. Yeah, soon as we get on the ground, cause I don't fight up top, I fight on the ground, so I don't fight. Yeah, cause you gotta look at, yeah, cause people crazy, man, people crazy, but I try to have a good time with everybody, you know, that's why I'm from single parent households, or any single parents in here, single parents, you got love for the single parents, yeah, you gotta have love for the single parents, cause, uh, you know, I wanted the daddy, don't get me wrong, I, I wanted the daddy, but my mom felt like uh, she could handle both roles, you know, she was like, I'm your mom and your daddy, you be like, mom, what my daddy at, please. You know, black mom, black, I'm your mom and your daddy, but that's too much pressure. You know, you go to her, you be like, mom, you got a dollar? She be like, boy, I ain't got no damn money. You be like, what about daddy then? What about daddy then? <laughs> you be like, damn, both of y'all broke. I don't, I don't think this relationship going nowhere. I don't nobody want to work in a relationship. Yeah, because 
you know, because black mama hold on to their sons. They love their sons. You know, they'll uh, send the daughter on out. They don't give a damn. You know, they like, get your fast ass on out of here. You don't, you don't appreciate shit. But they hold on to their sons, you know, and I could tell my mom was holding on to us because we got like three boys, you know, and I'm the baby boy, and she's still coming to the bathroom. We'd be like 14, and she's still trying to come in the bathroom so I need to wash your back. And I'm like, hey, mom, I don't think she should be in here no more. You know, this. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't right. I got hat down there now. I don't think she'd be in here. <laughs> yeah, once you get hat down there, you don't want your mama in there no more. So, yeah, but black mamas just hold on. And my mama don't understand we both grown now, so she don't understand how friendship work, you know, because she like to borrow money, and I ain't got no problem uh, letting her borrow money, but she don't know uh, what, how much to borrow, you know, for it won't get crazy, you know, because she be asking, like, can I borrow $400? And I'd be like, I don't really think you're ready for $400, mom, you know. <laughs> Yeah, got four hundred dollars. That's ass whooping territory. You don't want to, you don't want to whoop your mama ass, but uh, shit could go wrong for four hundred. You just can't. I can't just let you get that. I ain't got it like that. I can't just, you know. I'd be like, get you twenty or thirty dollars and work your way up. You know, build some credit with a nigga. Don't just take a chance like that. Cause I ain't gonna write no letters. I'm not gonna write no letters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right over there and whoop your ass. I'm swear to God. But yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta love your mama, you know, cause that's, that's your only mama. But I, you know, I did have like a uh, little stepdaddies. I had a little stepdaddy, but you know, they went, uh, you know, uh, she didn't like them a long time, you know, and I was like, mama, I mean, you know, cause you have a good little stepdad and you build a little bun and then your mom be like, I don't like him. You be like, well, I like him. You stay with him, please. Cause you, know, you can't do it by yourself. We're gonna need some help. But I had a little uh, stepdad named Frank, you know, and he was a cool little dude, but he didn't grow like grown folk grow, you know. <laughs> yeah, cause you ever met a little dude, you know, they grown, but they don't grow really like grown folk grow. They be real short, you know, and they try to tell you do, you be like, go on, little Frank, you know, ain't nobody scared you. <laughs> cause he just ain't grown, you know, he, he ain't really intimidated like that, but, but Frank was like an angry little dude, you know, he was, he was angry. He, he could argue with the best of them. He would get to argue with people and fighting all the time, you know. And, and uh, we used to tell Frank, you know, cause I, he had like a bad eye, you know. And I don't know if, you know if you ever seen nobody with a bad eye, but that scare you if you're a little kid, cause, cause the eye didn't do stuff like other eyes do, you know. It just used to look at you all the time. You're a little kid, you'd be like, Mom, Frank keep looking at me all the time. And she'd be like, that man sleep. And you'd, and you'd be like, well, somebody need to go shut that eye then, cause that eye. That eye is still woke. I don't want nobody to shut that eye. Cause I, I could never get people to spend the night, you know, cause they were scared of Frank God. They were like, like, man, I ain't coming over there. Frank God don't go to sleep. And we were like, we're gonna shut it tonight. We're gonna shut it. Cause the eye just stayed woke. It was like it was on no dose, but but we learned to appreciate the little eye. You know, at least he had a damn eye. But he was an angry uh, little dude, you know, so he get to argue with people, and you know, he got to argue with the man next door one day, and the man told Frank, he was like, uh, Frank, go with that bullshit now. Uh, I'm gonna knock your motherfucking eye out. <laughs> and you not heard people say that, but you don't really think you can knock nobody out. You, can, you be like, shit like that don't happen. That's on TV and stuff. But uh, evidently, if your eye ain't that good, it can get knocked the fuck out, you know? <laughs> But Frank went out there and he was like, you ain't gonna do shit. But he led with the eye that couldn't see too good. And the dude just started hitting him in the little damn eye. And we were like, duck, Frank, duck. And Frank was like, I got him, I got him, I got him. And we were like, we can't tell, we can't tell. Cause he was beating the shit out the little eye and I gotta get the eye credit. It was a tough ass eye. Cause it just kept taking little blows. And I was like, that's a tough ass eye right there. And I guess the little eye got tired, like, and the eye just fell the fuck out, you know. And we're like, I'll be damned, he done knocked Frank eye out. And Frank like, this nigga done knocked my eye out. He's like, oh, this nigga gonna get it as soon as I find my eye. And, but Frank was really emotional, he was like, uh, y'all help Frank find his eye, help Frank find his eye. And uh, we were like, Frank, we don't know what no eye look like outside the eye, you know. Cause you ain't never just ran up on no eye, just laying around nowhere, so. You might find some quarters or something, but you ain't never just found an eye and be like, Mama, I found an eye today. You know, that ain't no shit that happened, but he was looking so emotional, you know, because he, he was trying to cry. He was trying to get the little tears, but I think you need your eye to cry because little, little tears wouldn't quite come all the way up. And we're like, Frank, please don't cry. Don't cry, you know. 
We'll keep an eye out for We'll keep an eye out for